Good evening and welcome to Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment in Canada around the world. My name is Tahir Rai Krashi. I'm a fellow of Rose HU of Canada, broker record for City Pro Realty Brokerage and also principal broker of Canada Express Mortgage Inc. License 13241. Today's topic is a perfect storm in real estate. Is there one? Are we prepared? Recently, Bank of Canada has increased 100 basic point, which is 1%, to prime key interest rate to 2.5%. And this has affected everyone, though bank also, the normally conventional six banks, they changed the prime rate from 3.7 to 4.7. And concern is how many people, how many Canadian who have borrowed money for one year, two year term, they will be asking for renewal or extension of loan or getting refinancing. And majority of them chosen variable rate because variable rates were lower and therefore they were able to secure financing instead of fixing it, five-year fix. In my previous episode, I mentioned that I negotiated 1.59 for a small mortgage for five-year fix. So I don't have to worry about for five years. But those who took advantage of variable, there is a risk involved with that. And now the stress test is a contract rate plus 2.5%, uh, plus 2%, which amounts to still 5.25. So now each time you increase, the rate increases, your mortgage qualification will reduce. So for example, if you are qualified for $1 million, with this change, you only qualify for 900,000. So you will lose about 100,000 affordability in terms of getting qualification. So high ratio mortgage right now, five year fix is 4.74 because CMAC is the one who's gonna guarantee the loan and variable five year is 3.75. And conventional, which is uh, 20%, is 5.24, fixed five-year fix, and 4.3% variable. So you can see that the variable has caught up with this. And this is why it's very, very, and obviously if you are using as a rental income property, your five-year fix is now approximately 5.69 and variable probably be 4.65. So you could be in trouble if your income has declined because affordability, you have to pay more. Now, <clears throat> the important thing is how, how the in, uh, rising interest rates affect me as an individual. A higher rate, rate means that you will have to pay back a larger amount when it comes to repay the money. And people will adjust rate, adjustable rate, mortgage will find that their mortgage payment increases. So we're going to talk about that trigger rate also because I mentioned that in one of my social media posts. So when you are paying a mortgage, there are two components in there, variable mortgage, okay? There are principal and there are interest. Bank always want to make sure the interest portion is paid first. And when you, your interest rate is going up, the, the balance between your equity contribution and the principal contribution will change. 
Therefore, you will be paying more toward interest payment and less toward your e equity. Therefore, bank can demand that, that you increase your payment or pay down your mortgage to reduce your payment. You will, bank can even call the mortgage back because if you, you are not able to address that. So what happens in, in variable when increases? When, when, when uh, rates on variable interest rate mortgage decreases, more of your regular payment go toward principal. When rate goes down, your principal is increases. When his rate goes up, your principal goes up, more money goes toward the interest payment. And what is the meaning of trigger rate? And we mentioned that a trigger rate is that surpassed, it requires a variable rate borrower to increase her monthly payment. Trigger rates are linked to the prime rates because prime rates goes up, the bank will increase the rates and variable are not fixed rate, therefore they will increase. They ensure that the variable borrower with fixed payment always cover at least the interest due to a lender in a fast and fast rising rate environment. So let's assume that you have $1,000 monthly payment, let's assume that you are paying six, uh, 600000 toward principal and you are paying 400000 toward uh, your uh, mortgage every month. Now, because your rate was fixed at 1.5, now it's gone to 4.7. So you see the leverage? The more money will be going to a principal, you may not have enough money to pay toward the equity. So the bank will say, listen, Two things you have to do. You have to start paying more money or you pay down your mortgage, bring a cash, pay down to create that balance of principle between the two because you're going to less qualify. Now, the issue is, do you have the money? As you all know, we have car payment, mortgage payment, student loans and home insurance, grocery, paying for the food, gasoline prices, everything piles up. And because Bank of Canada increased 1%, their key lending rate, because all the banks borrow money from the Bank of Canada and they give it to you. And they reinvest, they make money. So if the key rate is 2.5 and the prime is 4.7, so the difference between two is the cost of providing the service by the bank and also making money on you. So you, you bank, they are borrowing money from the bank at 2.5 and they are giving to you for 4.7. That's the minimum benchmark. And the difference between two is their profitability and also cover their cost to let you the money. So now, in, in, in 2022, the prime rate is 4.7. And obviously, Bank of Canada today, you know, they can increase the rate anytime. There are three more schedules of meeting, and they will be deciding because inflation is 7.7, .7, almost 8%. Cost of goods have gone up. The economy is heated. There is a supply, shortage of supply. Demand is high. They are cooling it down. They want to bring inflation rate to 2%, which is conventional. And you remember during pandemic, the government given away so much money to people, personally support them, and also to the businesses. Now, those loans were for two years or three years. Those Loans will become due very soon and CRA will be coming after those people who borrowed the money or took the money. And they have incentive to give 90% of the money and keep the 10% if they pay on time, refund the money to, to the federal government. And this is why it's very, very important that why 
why the government have given so much money in a stimulated package but increase our federal debt over a trillion dollar and not knowing or not investing in a way that our economy is producing it more revenue for them we are in more debt we got the lifeline we supported ourselves now we have to pay back that money whoever that borrow that money how is a perfect storm in real estate have you seen the statistic i share on our real estate in um, in our um, uh, june report we have 41% 41.4% reduction in sale in june which supposed to be the hottest month in any real estate and we have now active listing 42.5% more than what we have in june last year and average price based to the june is 5.3% more than what we have in june but you remember it ha- it has a very significant reduction in prices i share with you in uh, in 2022 we have reduction of 187888 dollar an average price home across gta based on toronto regional real estate board report market watch for to, uh, june 2022 now when you are talking about getting a mortgage the biggest problem that i see right now is the people who ha- have taken short mortgage second mortgage and third mortgage to make a deal remember in january february was still very very hard and then since february it started declining four consecutive month declining and i don't expect anything better for july either so what happens is that many of those who have secured short term mortgages to close a deal are in big trouble those who are stretch themselves to buy a property and they use variable mortgage are in trouble because their monthly income has increased those who are in, have investment properties their rental is gone up to but the their payment are going up because of their variable particularly variable it takes about 24 months to destabilize the situation before that inflation goes down and then rates are come back in the meantime based on the data that's available you can google it one out of four canadian if there is a one more increase of interest key interest rate by bank of canada will be in big trouble our debt ratio 1 dollar we earn and we owe 1.86 for every dollar we earn that's our debt debt ratio so that's alarming economically and now approximately 30 35% of the economy in real estate boost the economy of canada across canada and if real estate is affected and people can't afford it we we have a problem problem for those who own the property who are not able to carry it so they will have no choice to think about ahead of time very seriously talk to real estate professional and see how how your situation can be handled 
You can call me directly 416-451-3489. I'm a fellow of Real Estate of Canada. I'm a certified real estate specialist. Talk to me. I can help you and position you to make sure you survive. Also, you always have to have some saving contingency plan. When you are buying and selling real estate, and this turmoil that we have in pandemic, and now we're out of pandemic, and this interest rate, new trigger. We always have to have extra cushion, some saving for the bad timing that we are facing today. If you do not have a plan how to manage your mortgage and expenses, you can't stop eating, you can't stop not driving your car, you still have to pay the mortgage, you have to pay the property tax, you have to pay CRA, you have to pay student fees for your kids, you have to pay for the GO train if you're using it, all those expenses and attending family wedding, you still have to do all that. But if you don't have funds, you better think about it seriously. It's a perfect storm for you. So think about that, create a budget immediately. Call me, I'll give you a template how to use it, how to prepare your budget to make sure you can survive. Now, those who are in this situation, the renewal is coming, they have to make a decision. Would they be qualifying it? Let's assume your mortgage is coming in six months, a renewal. So you start talking to your lender right now. What will be my situation in my, based on your circumstances? Because of privacy law, you have to share information with your mortgage broker or a lender that you're dealing with the banks directly. You can call me because I'm a principal broker, can Express Mortgage, Inc. I'm a licensed to talk about the mortgage and loan. What is the best solution, the product? The first thing I have to do is to use suitability that something that you I'm going to promote is suitable and you qualify it. Make sure the product is suitable for you and do diligence to make sure you qualify and then give you a honest opinion whether you are facing the perfect storm in real estate or you are able to survive. Couple of things that we're gonna talk about is how to survive. Why you take, did you not take the fixed rate. Depending on your situation, depending on your income, you still be able to convert your variable rate to fixed rate. Depends on the income because I always suggested people who have a fixed income to fix their rate. You may end up paying a little bit more in the beginning. But at the end, you will benefit it because you don't expect any gift money. You don't have expect any extra income coming to you that will help you to carry you through these rainy days. And this is why it's very, very important to create a budget. It's a very human tendency not to create a budget. If we sit down on a dinner table with a piece of paper, and write down all these expenses and spouse and both partners in life, they can talk about it. What are the obligations? What are the activities? Uh, how much we are paying for the car? How much you are paying for insurance, student loans, mortgages, line of credits, health, trips, vacation, blah, blah, blah. Everything, some medicine, uh, you know, some disability support for your kids or higher education. You put together on a piece of paper, you have an idea how much money you have and how much saving you have. And in the event something happens to you, what would you do? And if you don't, then it's better to analyze it, sit down and fix the rate so you don't take the risk. Unless you're expecting a couple hundred thousand dollars coming from your family that as a gift money or whatever, then you can go in variable and pay off the mortgage. But if you don't have that, you will be facing a very challenging environment. 
because you may have one property, you may have a second property. It all depends what type of money you have borrowed, how much money you have borrowed, and what is the interest rate you are paying. You know, uh, interest rate was very low. Some people are paying 1.52. Some people have paid less than a percent on variable. And imagine that they qualified it now is variable gone to 4.7 percent. How they're going to handle the mortgage or carry the mortgage for four times what they are agreed to. This is why it's very, very important for a real estate professional when you are meeting with your client and you're talking about uh, arranging a financing or even doing a mortgage, working with a mortgage broker to make sure they analyze it. This, can they afford it? Afford it before you put an agreement of purchase and sale, put an offer for them and make them binding. Remember that even you have a letter of commitment, firm commitment from the bank, banks still have the ability to choice to, to uh, get the appraisal and give you less money than what you have before. So you're watching Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz and Tim in Canada around the world. We're going to take a short break and we'll come back to you. Welcome to Realty Coffee Talk on Awards and Tema in Canada, around the world. My name is Tahir Aikrashi. I'm your host. We're talking about a perfect storm in real estate. Imagine you have bought a property. There are two things that you have to remember. Number one, you bought a property early on and pay a higher price, even in December. December, January, and February, you paid a high price. You secure a mortgage. If you secure a variable mortgage, you are in this storm. Because you have to pay more money to carry that mortgage. Depending on how deep your pocket is, if you can afford this, you are in trouble. If you bought the property, you have closed the deal, appraised value came lower than what the price was, and you paid out from your pocket the contingency funds you kept for the closing the deal. You exhausted that. And you thought you were okay with variable. And now you have no extra money to pay the difference. Because when prime rate increases, it, it, it triggers the interest rate because the balance between the principal and the interest is off balance. The interest rate goes up, your interest payment will go up, your principal contribution will go down. At, at reach one point, the bank says, you are not able to pay enough money for the interest payment, either you come up with more money or we're pulling the plug on you. And this is a serious. So you got to talk to the people who have arranged your mortgage or loan, either bank or broker or agent, to see where you stand. Are you capable of handling this? Based on the information that we have seen by uh, issued by the policy report by Bank of Canada, you are expected three more increases potentially because they still want to control the inflation rate, which is 7.7% is almost 8. In the United States, it's more than 8.4%. They are also increasing the interest rate. If that happens, what is the choices? Depends on how much equity you put in the house. And if price goes down, how much you can lose. Either you lose everything or you save something. It all depends. You need to talk to your family and friend to help you to survive. This is very important now. Is that You are in a survival. If you are in a situation where you took the variable, you didn't fix it, you still took the chance because it affects that trigger point rate when you are on a variable 
It's linked with the prime rate. It's nothing to do with anything else. Prime rate goes up, it, interest rates goes up, and because of the balance between the principal and the interest is changed. And bank wants to make sure the interest is paid first before the principal contribution. And sometimes you reach the point, if the rate is double and triple, there's nothing left for the equity. And that's why the bank is concerned. I want to make sure that interest is paid. So now this is why they might want you to reduce the loan. Somehow come up money, borrow money from family, friends, parents, brothers, sisters, or whatever, to decrease the value of the loan so you can fall within that range. And also bank will want to get more information for you to qualify you. 5.25 bench contract rate that is bank is willing to give you plus 2%. When you have the interest rate in exceed that 2%, that's a contingency fund as a stress test that triggers the interest rate situation for you. So be very careful about it and talk about your financing. Now, if you bought a house, you can handle it. That's the one situation. And you also need to talk to the lender, or your mortgage agent, or broker, to see, they can check around and see how they can adjust that and somehow to move you to the fixed account, fixed rate, because your income is not going anywhere, is consistently growing, whereas your cost of goods, food, gas, rent, or mortgage payment are going up, clothing, transportation, everything is going up, so you are able to do less with the money that you have. So this will affect you, your financial situation, and you want to know how you're gonna manage it. Either you decide to, to make sure you've done the efforts to survive for next, at least minimum 24 months, or, you dispose of and do the best you can and get out of the situation so you don't lose too much equity. Now, depending on when you bought the property, you definitely have a decline in value. There are less and less buyer to qualify. The motivation, the pulse of the buyer has drained. And we are in this predicament now, this perfect storm for real estate. And we have more, less transaction. Eventually, it appears that unless new changes or new uh, interest rates are coming, there was no need to do anything extra. By just adjusting the interest rate, it stopped the madness in real estate. The only thing is the value of the properties have declined depending on luxury homes over two and a half to three million dollars and up or average prices declining in 2022 as compared to what was in January and February was the highest one across uh, GTA with TRAB. So you are able to do that. No, the other situation is handling the payment. Second situation is your mortgage is coming for renewal. Whether it's a fixed or variable, it's coming for renewal now. One year, two year, three year, five year, four years. So now you can be qualified for the new rate available to you. And now again, you have to look at to see, get the rate from everyone to see where you stand. And analyze it, budget it, can I handle it or not? This is the biggest decision you will be making in your life. You don't want to lose too much equity. But if you can't afford it, how you deal with it? Only thing you can do is to borrow money from your family, friends, parents, to survive, to make sure you are able to handle it or negotiate the rate and fix it for two years. 
it takes you know economic cycle it takes couple of years to to go through at this moment interest rates are rising so obviously real estate value will go down it all has to do with affordability there could be not only difficulty or storm for the sellers but there could be opportunity for the buyer who have done their homework they have saved money because they will be paying more high rate but they will get a good deal and this is why is very important to prepare your budget prepare your strategy and look for professional who can project things who can show you the trend and prediction in real estate and what's happening in the mortgage industry this is why it's very important to consult with a fellow of rules as you of canada i'm a fellow of rules as you of canada i'm a certified real estate specialist talk to me i can tell you what's happening and you can watch our realtycoffeetalk.com all the shows to educate you our goal is to create awareness to educate you so you make informed decision and we promote good ethic and professional standard in real estate now you as you know at this moment if unless you are planning you have to plan now how to navigate this through this storm if you have to arrange a mortgage to renew it or you have existing mortgage to convert it to fixed rate or you arrange alternate financing through private lenders b lenders or from the family and friends so you can survive through this perfect storm in real estate if you do not do either one you will run into a default and this is why the power of sale are expected to rise if our home buyers are not uh, home sellers and buyers are not well prepared seller to maintain the house rearrange financing borrow money to survive through during this tough time or the borrower who is well prepared to cash on and buy the property and take advantage of current situation so you are watching realty coffee talk on awaz in even canada around the world if you have any question regarding the real estate or mortgage please call me 4164513 i'd be more than happy to help you realty coffee talk is broadcast live on facebook instagram uh, awaz ent 580 tv and youtube simultaneously if you are in a business that's connected with real estate whether you are a builder developer lawyer real estate broker agent a plumber electrician renovator you can call 6474840018 and ask for a special package you will get a very special advertising deal for $500 time to 10 times a day and 30 days and this is only available to the viewers of realty coffee talk who are watching our show you can call again 4167869809 and ask for miss jabeen she be happy to give you thank you for watching realty coffee talk on was entertainment we'll see you next thursday at 7 pm thank you and bye for now may god bless you may god bless canada